Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to thank um, the World Renewable Energy Congress for the invitation of, of inviting me to be here, sharing with you a little bit of things that um, my country has done in this field and in this specific area. And also, I want, would like to greet all the panelists who are participating with me and, and supporting this Congress, and ladies and gentlemen. So first, in order to start, to start talking about this topic, I would like you to understand a little bit my country. My country, it's in the middle of America continent. It's a very small country. If you compare it, it's like the size of a Sam state. That small it is, it's four million people only, but we have great, great results in this area. And that's why I am here. In Panama, by 2022, we reached 67% of forest coverage or green coverage. We are very proud of that because um, part of our country has like a little Amazonia forest, uh, which is totally impenetrable. And, and that makes us this percentage and producing more oxygen than what we do as a carbon um, give us uh, the statement of being a carbon negative country. Also, because um, we are in the, between the ocean, uh, Pacific Ocean and Atlantic Ocean, we uh, are very blessed to have more than 500 rivers crossing um, all over our country. And with this in mind, we are very blessed to have a uh, huge potential for hydropower, which we are using. So only last year, the Panama government state that on, I mean, 2022, we reached 81% of electricity from renewable resources. And we are very proud of that as a country. To reach this number, we worked for more than 20 years, beginning to do electric dams and trying to get all the support of energy from hydropower, from the great quantities of rivers I already talked about. So last year, uh, also, we sell energy to our neighbor countries, helping and supporting in this area. Now, talking about the topic, now that you know a little bit about my country and these numbers, um, I would like to first begin by the supporting topic of finance, of course. I would like to talk about the Barefoot Institute here in India, which have one of the plants we already have in Panama. And let me explain you this example so you understand how cooperation works between countries and how we can do as next steps in the future. So Barefoot Institute, um, which is here in India in 2017, uh, train four indigenous, very poor indigenous women that uh, were lack of education and train them to be like solar engineers experts. These four women returned back to Panama, graduated from this engineering and installed a lot of solar systems in Panama. Now these women are professor and the government of Panama, what they, what, what they do is replicate what India has offered us to do it in Panama with 25 indigenous women that were very wisely selected. Between 18 and 52 years old, 25 students uh, work in this and get their graduation ceremony. They finalize by installing the solar panels on their home. So these women were from three different uh, indigenous, um, indigenous part of Panama. Uh, they don't have access to light. This is like a 5% of the population don't still have access to light and live in a, in a forest area, very difficult to access. So this project costs $2,050,000 and uh, it has the cooperation of the Inter-American um, Inter Development Bank, Chevron, which is a private company, ITISA, which is a, a electricity generator of Panama, the Battery House, a private company that make all the donations of the solar panels, uh, the Bessie Band, the CAF, and other private companies. So you can see the cooperation. What these women did is that from the 25, then this year, four are gonna be professors and teach 25 more. 
So this is like a replication which is growing for the future. So we also teach entrepreneurship because these women are lack of education. Entrepreneurship, finances, because they need to understand how to deal with their personal finances and women rights. And we empower them to be uh, good technicians. So um, now this, this project is growing. Also, we have in another reservation in Panama of indigenous called the Cunayala region in the Caribbean. It's a formation of a lot of little islands that doesn't have access to light. By the, again, the Inter-American Development Bank and the government of Australia, in this case, we do a rural electrification program in this island when we get um, uh, to the health system and, and hospitals and schools uh, access to electricity. And this, this helped these indigenous women because they dedicate to sew their artisan uh, textiles all the day and they live from this kind of um, uh, from, from this kind of textiles. So at the, at the night they have more access to work and that makes them more productive to be entrepreneurs. So the, the life for them now is longer because they have access to electricity during the nights. So in 2020, um, my government make an energy transition agenda. Um, when we reorientate the national investments, we did a matrix with indicators and measurements and commitments and goals. Uh, for 2050, of course, before that, we want to get to the 100% renewable energy, and I think we are on the very few right track to complete that. Uh, it, this will increase our higher GDP as a country, more jobs. We are estimating to have 141,000 uh, uh, new employees, better em economic benefits per USD, better government revenue spent, increased energy, and you may know all the, the good things that comes from using renewable energy and changing the world through this. Saving in the health system is another example. So um, in this agenda, we already measured last year our accomplishment after three years of, from getting the plan. So the results were we duplicated the sales of solar panels all over the country, uh, we duplicated the sales of electric cars. The public electric chargers were duplicated too. The metro system now is totally electrical which is like the public transportation and we're moving to also electric buses. The first banking loans to purchase the solar panels when people have um, more access to, uh, to credit by using the solar panels. So they, they got the support of the government to do and purchase them for their houses and businesses. And also we include for the electric calls and a special insurance that cover um, in, in a very like small quantity, better the electric cars than the, the, the cars that use petrol. So we have installed academies and also we open new careers in the university because we understood as a country that if we depend on hydropower, we need people that study these careers and we don't have them. We, all, we always use it from different countries that study uh, abroad. So we open new careers in the university to uh, get ready for the future with um, special hydrology engineering. So our most ambitious pro project as a country is to understand our position in the world. As you, as you may know, we have the Panama Canal right now. So 6% of the world's good pass through the Panama Canal. A lot of ships um, are passing through our country daily. And we want that sh those ships to have uh, green hydrogen, to use us as green bunkering um, hub. Well, so we understand that we have here like an opportunity and we are working in our construction, transformations, processing, storage and distribution of uh, the green hydrogen to be a hub, and not only for all the ships that pass through the canal that use the bunkering system, but also for all the planes that um, use the connection of our airport that have more than 81 destinations worldwide, which we are like an air hub, to use also the green hydrogen and, and take advantage of our, of our geographical position and our business in maritime and in all the flights we share with all Latin America by transit flights um, to get used to these uh, new technologies and we want to be the hub of that. So these are um, some examples of what we are doing. Uh, we hope I can um, 
we can share best uh, best uh, numbers in the couple of next years. And and yes, I think that uh, it's a collaboration. It's a cooperation between all the areas, and this make us to these results. Thank you.